I'd like to thank each and every one of you for spending this past week with us here on Morning Moments with Jesus. As we've taken a really good look at living life beyond ourselves and we covered a lot of material this past week that I pray will be beneficial to your spiritual walk, but also mentally, emotionally, and even physically. I pray that we begin to kind of get life more in focus and stop being uh, drowned out by all the chaos that has gone on in the world. But this morning, the Lord wraps it up with a very straightforward word from His devotion this morning, but I believe it's one that kind of wraps all of this past week up in a in a nice little package to where we can understand it. Because the truth of the matter is, is that all of the things that we talked about this past week are relevant and good information from the Lord on how to live a better life, how to build a better life by building a better you. But there's one main ingredient that has to take place in order for you to get from where you are to where God wants you to be. And that is, you've got to address the spirit of control. You have to make up your mind who you want to be in control of your life, of the decisions that you make, of building that better you. There's nothing worse than us wanting God's will, but then we try to tell God what His will is. If there's someone in our Morning Moments family today, and I imagine there's several who battle with this spirit of control, then the Lord really has a word for us this morning. You know, in Proverbs chapter 3, we love to quote verses 5 and verses 6, and they are powerful and wonderful verses that say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. But sometimes we leave out verse 7, where it says, Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. That verse specifically addresses the spirit of control that often many of us walk in. And in order to get to where we need to be, We're going to have to give up control and let God be God. Let him do what he needs to do. Let him refine us. Let him refocus our energies and our time and our mindset. Get yourself out of the box of the way you've been doing things and extend beyond those limitations that you've put up on your own life. Maybe because you've always tried to control your life. And let's be honest why why we're being there. You not only try to control your own life, but you find yourself trying to control other people's lives and situations that are around you. That is a spirit that attacks many people. And that spirit is called control. And there are some things about a controlling spirit that the Lord showed me this morning that I just want to speak out to our to our family here this morning and I pray that if it speaks to you that you will begin to address living life in focus by first addressing the fact that you're going to have to give up the reins and give up the controls and give them over to God the first thing this morning I see about a controlling spirit is it will assume authority that it does not have he tries to control things that has not been, he had, that that spirit has not been given authority over. Let me tell you something. You, there are many times we give over control to, to things that that we have control over, by giving it to God. So never allow that spirit to come into your life, and begin to assume authority over things that it was never meant to have authority over. The second thing I see is that. There's an inability to admit that you're wrong. That's the spirit of control. If you have a hard time admitting that you're wrong, even if in your side you know you're wrong. Also, it closes your mind to other people's viewpoints. It'll display a false sense of confidence, yet underneath there is a lot of insecurity. 
That's the spirit of control. Call it out for what it is. Another thing the Lord has shown me in my life and in lives where people come to me and say, I just think I'm, I've got a controlling spirit. One of the things is it wants to take charge of everything. Does that speak to you this morning? You just feel like no matter what it is, whether it's work, whether it's home life, whether it's your children's life, your grown children's life, you just feel like you got to take charge of everything. That's rooted in pride. It can't bear the thought that someone knows more about something than you do. So you have to take that control. It also manipulates everything to its own advantage. A spirit of control will do that. It'll manipulate things to where things come out the way they want it to. But the Lord says that we need to trust in Him. And lean not into our own understanding and be not wise in our own eyes. That's rooted in fear because the spirit must maintain control in order to feel a sense of security. This morning I want to speak against that spirit of control because we're never going to get to where we need to be if we keep trying to control everything. All we seem to do is mess it up. But when we turn it over to the Lord, there is beauty in that, that you don't have to carry that anymore. You don't have to assume that authority that you've never been given. You don't have to take charge of everything because God's got it all under his perfect control. You want to build a better life? It starts with building a better you. And how do you build a better you? You start by giving up control. And giving it over to the Lord. And say, Lord, I trust you with all my heart. I'm tired of leaning on my own understanding. In all my ways, I will do my best to acknowledge your way. And allow you to direct my path. And I'm tired of trying to be wise in my own eyes. I'm going to fear the Lord and depart from this spirit of control. I pray over you today. I pray that you're safe, that you're strong, and that you're blessed. That you go into this weekend with a little bit lighter load, knowing that you have given over the controls to the Lord. Pray you have a great weekend. Lord's will, we'll gather back here again on Monday. And until then, as always, have a great day.